I'll be straight with you. Cold email is just, just getting harder. Year by year, regulations are tightening, AI spam filters and detection systems are just getting smarter and smarter. Inbox providers are just locking things down and again, just making things harder for you week by week. Inbox placements are usually just a waste of time. This isn't just fear mongering. This is the sad reality of cold email in 2025. And I'm going to show you in this video what I do and what I'm preparing for in 2026 and how I'm preparing for 2026 when it comes to my infrastructure for me to stay protected as well as my clients so there's no downtime there's no massive downage there's no spam so that my infrastructure doesn't break by the way if you don't know me i actively send 1.4 million cold emails every single day let me show you what i'll do and what i'm doing what i'm preparing for in 2026 and what i did in 2025 the lessons i learned as well that's what i'm going to show you the three parts of this video so let's get started so the core reality nobody really wants to say out loud is there's no single one safe inbox anymore anyone betting their entire operation on one provider is going to get nuked unfortunately the only strategy that survives is is distribution so multiple inbox types I'm talking Google, I'm talking Outlook, I'm talking SMTP, leveraged SMTP, and maybe you can try also stuff that nobody talks about. If one gets hit, the machine keeps on running, and that's how the game is now. So what actually works in 2025, what worked for me, and what I'm planning to take over into the new year, into 2026. So I'm going to talk about Google Workspace. This is always going to be king in terms of deliverability. It's expensive, and that's the gatekeeper of it. It's going to cost you more than $3, roughly $3 per inbox per month. But again, this is going to have the highest deliverability. If you want to debate me on this, don't even start. It's just proven fact. But in summer 2025, things have changed. So I'm going to talk about like one aspect of Google, which is not related to this. So if you know what educational panels are, they got hit. Those are panels that you pay like 100, 300 bucks for, maybe $1,000 for. And you could put like hundreds, thousands of domains and inboxes on top of, and then send very, very low volume. Now that's not actually Google Workspace, like the authentic one with admin accounts. That was something entirely different. So that got hit. And unfortunately that's not really a real strategy anymore. But if you use authentic Google workspaces, they're still going to be king. They're still going to be number one. But the you know, only problem is it's not cheap. It's three dollars per month if you're getting from a proper place. So again, high trust, high cost and high scrutiny. Google isn't where you scale reckless volume. It's where you really dial in on an offer and a path that is proven. Next is Outlook, the Roy monster that nobody is going to replace. So. Outlook is still the best ROI in the game. There's no debate about this. It's 10 times cheaper than Google. It delivers insanely well when warmed correctly. It scales cleaner than most people think. This is where real volume lives on and this is where you can actually test real volume before you move it onto Google. And if you wanna keep that offer running for months and months and months and years. So right now I'm sending 1.4 million per day strictly on Outlook. And that's not theory, that's actually what's happening right now. Outlook will remain the backbone for me throughout 2026. If you wanna get Outlook inboxes, recommend go to maildeck.co. They have a Christmas sale right now. For 20 days, you can get inboxes for 50% off. If you wanna get inboxes with Outlook, this is what I recommend you do. Maildeck is gonna have Google as well as SMTP and leveraged SMTP. So everything I talk about here in this video for the best price possible. So Google, we will have for $2 per month, roughly. It's gonna be 35% cheaper than what everybody sells it. And no, it's not gonna be educational panels. It's gonna be real admin panels and also going to be for a price that nobody wants to offer. It's gonna be like basically like free value add if, if you're doing Outlook. All right, next, private SMTP. It's gonna be my volume whore for 2026. And uh, I don't wanna pretend otherwise. Some people, you know, make it out to be like, hey, this is gonna be better. This is better than anything that's Outlook, that's Google. And that's just not true. It's never going to be true. Private SMTP is where you go when you want raw throughput, lower trust, higher risk, but insane volume capacity. This is not for beginners. This is not for people who panic when something breaks. But if you know how to rotate, how to throttle, how to segment it, it can actually print. 
And then finally, we have the leverage infrastructure, the 2026 land grab. This is what I predict 2026 is going to make the next wave. AWS, SendGrid, Google Cloud and Azure equivalents and variants, basically using transactional systems on top of the regular SMTP is going to be the craze in 2026. And everyone is going to talk about this. It's not new. It's just really hard to do most complex by far out of all of them. It has a lot of moving parts, but really just a step up of private SMTP. You can think about like private SMTP squared is going to be leveraged infrastructure. If you want my opinion on this, it's not going to be better than Google or Outlook. Google is number one, Outlook number two, and number three is going to be leveraged infrastructure. And number four is going to be private infrastructure, which is going to be a better version of the private infrastructure that we already have. I know there's going to be companies selling this like, you know, hotcakes, trying to rebrand it, but you know, just don't listen to them. Just really think about it. Like how can you build your own reputation and be better than Google or Outlook? It's nonsense, right? Even if you leverage something like SendGrid, you cannot fully leverage it like the big companies do. None of the other companies can do that reliably at scale because they would be very likely banned. You have tried to do it and there's no real options to it. You can mimic what they're doing, but that's not the same thing, but it's still better than private SMTP. So that's what I say private SMTP, the volume whore, square two, 2.0. All right, my 2026 distribution model. Here's what I'm gonna do. If you wanna copy what I'm doing, feel free to. I'm gonna do 30% of my infrastructure in Outlook, 20% in Google, and 30% private SMTP, and 20% leveraged SMTP. Simple reason is I'm gonna test everything in, in private SMTP, Outlook, that's 60% of the volume. And what really works, I'm gonna do 40% is the actual big scale, which is gonna be Google, it's going to be leveraged infrastructure. So each bucket serves its own purpose. Like I said, Outlook, private SMTP is the big testers. And then finally, we have the Google workspace and leveraged infrastructure, which is going to be the backbone of the deliverability. So where I'm right now, currently 1.4 million a day on Outlook, actively diversifying into Google workspace, private SMTP and leveraged cloud infrastructure. So this is in future planning. I'm, I'm already making things happen because most likely, who knows how long the Outlook strategy is going to be valid for. So let's just plan ahead. And I recommend you do the same. If you want the access to this infrastructure right now, I already mentioned we can go to Mail Deck. Right now we have a 50% off sale. By the, depends on when you're watching this video. But if you're watching this when it came out, you're going to have three weeks left to claim 50% off. And everything else I just mentioned. So the Google Workspace Private SMTP Leveraged Cloud Infrastructure that's going to be coming for you in January. So might be that by the time you're watching this video, it's, it's already out. Right now it's December 15th by the time I'm recording this. So most likely it should be already out. So what's coming in January? Like I said, Google inboxes with admin, $2 a pop, private SMTP and leveraged SMTP. So if you're planning to take anything really serious in terms of cold email for 2026, I recommend you to lock in early before everybody else jumps on the bandwagon. It's not going to be as accessible and you're not going to be as early as you are by now. So once the rush hits, price is going to go up, access is going to get gated. So that's just how things are. So if you want to do this, I would recommend you to prepare. So cold email is not dead. It's not going to be dead. If you see those titles, if you see those assholes coming up with 2026, cold email is dead. It's not dead. It's not going to die. It's never going to die because there's always going to be strategies. 2026 rewards people who build systems and think ahead and not just trying to hack the system. So if you're still thinking in terms of what inbox type, one tool, you're already behind. So just build distribution, control the risk and scale quietly. Hopefully I gave you some recommendations that you can pull back into your business for 2026. And I wish you a happy new year and also successful cold emailing for 2026. See ya.